Hey guys, what's up? So, day one, battle three. I can't remember what they call this one. Uh, it don't, doesn't really matter the names, but this one was fun. This was by far, in like, for me, well, no, they were all pretty fun. It was really good. It was the best battle for day one, in my opinion. So let's talk about this thing. All right, shoot and move. That's what it's called, shoot and move. This was a fun, fun battle, okay, in my opinion. You had different things. You had the wheelbarrow, you had the weird carry of this bar thingy, whatever it's called, uh, the farmer's carry thing, whatever they used. Um, and you basically, in short, I'll put the thing here, you can read it if you want to. It's not the best picture. Hopefully it shows up enough that you can actually read it. But basically it involved, is probably about 100 yards, slight incline up, right, uh, carrying, or pushing the wheelbarrow and then carrying the weird weighted thing, whatever. I think that's all we did was those two. I could be wrong. Anyway, it, it'll be there, it'll be in the video too. But doing that and then going down, loading up your pistol and rifle <clears throat> and then do, doing a shoot and move. Again, everything was really close, right? But you had to be moving and shooting with your rifle and basically everything was in an eight by, or whatever regular sheet, eight and a half by 11, I think is what the standard sheet of paper is. All your shots had to be in, in those things. They had some hostage looking target kind of things, right? So like half of the eight and a half by 11 sheet, um, but it was good, pistol stuff. And then at the end you had some bonus rounds and that's where taking your time, I took a couple extra breaths just to calm down. Taking your time, that really, really helps. Really helps, because if you throw your shots, you don't get your bonus points and those bonus points add up really fast. And your misses and your misses on like the the hostage targets, those add up really fast. All right guys, so anyway, enjoy the video. Um, shoot and move, it was really fun. And uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, athletes, are you ready? All right, three, two, one, go. I mean, all I've been doing is just sitting here doing the kind of people that are moving all the way. Yeah. All right, this last heat, heat 10, we're going to have uh, this thing. Well, yeah, also that option of course was like made with like team design. Like with the rolly poly run. I believe so. Load them up. Load your pistol up. Okay, five shots on all the lights. Five, right? Five shots. Hey, go get him, brother. a minute. Someone that looks like you would eat more than six, six yeah. pieces. You got this, keep going. 
Four, you got him. Get a couple of breaths. Hey. Yes, sir. Mag it here. There you go, baby. Come on. Left to right. There you go. There you go. One more. Hot. Fucking hot. Yes. Sweet. You got it, man. What's your name? Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that. That was really fun. I, I personally thought that that was the best battle of day one. Um, day two has some different stuff that I kind of liked a little bit more. Um, but for day one, that was by far the most fun, just kind of fast, bang it out kind of thing. Like, it was cool. It was good. It was very, very good. It was enough physical activity, right, and enough uh, weight and everything that you had to push yourself, right? And you could push yourself and being the last battle of the day, you could expend all your energy. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, and then the shooting stuff, it, it was, it it didn't rely on fast reloads and stuff like that, but it was the precision. It's all, the, these games are mainly about precision when it comes to the shooting aspect of things. Because if you just blast your rounds, you will incur so many penalty points, right? You'll add so much time. You could be the fastest guy out there, but you can't shoot your scores are going to drop way low. So keep that in mind if you're ever gonna to go to one of these things, practice your precision shots, right? Not so much of like bullseye shooting, but shooting at what you're trying to hit, right? If you have to hit an eight and a half, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, then hit the eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, right? It's really not that hard, but don't get so caught up in the moment thinking you have to go real fast, because that's what some people do, 
and they threw a lot of shots. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that. Y'all be good to be safe and we will catch you all in the next video.